Hi, it's Heather from Thicket Works, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of building these miniature gothic bed steps. You can download the SVG files for this project for free from the Thicket Works website. There's a link in the description. Once you have cut all the components out of lightweight chipboard, you'll be left with everything you need to build this sturdy but oh so stylish gothic piece. Let's start with the step treads. These are created by laminating two pieces of lightweight chipboard together. For this operation, I'm using Zig two-way glue. Now you see six of the treads here, but in reality, you only need four. Next, I'm going to create the backboard base from these two pieces. Again, lining them up carefully so that the notches and tabs along the edges remain accurate. As each component is glued together, I'm placing them under a one, two, three block. Next, it's time for the top panel. That's these two little rectangles. And yep, they get glued together with zig two-way. The backboard overlay comprises this triple arch design. You'll find two of these panels and they get glued one on top of the other. The step risers consist of six of these little triple arch panels. Layer them up two at a time so that you have a total of three risers. The step frame overlay is the fancy part that's going to go on the exterior of our piece. So take extra care to line up all of the decorative designs here. The step frame base is the engineering part of the piece. All of the slots that you see here accept the tabs for the risers and the back panel. So it's critical that everything be aligned properly. Once you've laminated all of these pieces, it's time to begin hardening them. I'm using Starbond, which is my favorite super glue. But as always, when working with super glue, be very careful to have adequate ventilation. Do not wear either cotton or leather gloves because super glue can react negatively with these substances. And if you get glue on your fingers, you can clean it up with acetone. Once all of the pieces have been hardened and are fully cured, which won't take long, it's time to sand them and neaten up all of the construction tabs and the slots. Attempting this kind of treatment with chipboard that has not been hardened will result in a fuzzy mess. Let's begin the assembly by placing the back panel into the step frame base on one side. It's important to fit these pieces together closely enough that you don't see any daylight through the corner assembly. Next, I'm going to install the risers. The tabs at each end of each riser fit into the slots on the step frame base. The moisture content in the adhesive may cause the chipboard fibers to swell a little bit, and it may be necessary for you to file down each of the construction tabs so that they fit properly into the slots. Now we join it all together. This is the most finicky part of the construction process because you're lining up all of these individual tabs with the slots. It can be helpful to use an implement like this to help press the chipboard down securely around each of the construction tabs. At this point, the piece should be firmly enough attached so that it holds its shape. Now you can apply whatever adhesive you prefer. On this piece, I've chosen to use PVA glue. 
I'm using it to apply the risers and also to secure the back panel. The backboard overlay fits directly on top of the backboard base. A drop or two of super glue pressed into place holds it securely. This top piece covers the gap at the very upper edge of the piece. Now it's time to install the treads. They overhang the exterior edge by a small margin, so do your best to center them on the main structure so that the same amount of material overhangs on either side. Now we're adding the overlays, but not until we add a bit of golden glimmer on the base panels. That will shine through the little quatrefoil designs. For this piece, I'm using super glue to glue this firmly into place. This covers up all of the construction tabs and slots and gives the piece an extra sense of sturdiness. It really does feel like wood at this point. Add sufficient pressure to the exterior edges while the super glue begins to cure. And once it has, you can turn your attention to the triple arch decorative panel on the back. I chose to just paint in this metallic metallic wax and I found I was a little disappointed with the amount of gleam showing through the quatrefoils so I switched to a small scale brush and just added even more metallic wax that's better in theory the piece is complete at this stage you could simply leave it at that but I prefer to clean up as much of the edges of the piece as possible with a lot of sanding. I use files and sandpaper and emery boards, anything that will help me to smooth those edges so that the layering process is not as obvious. And I also want the piece to feel as though it's been well used and worn over many decades and of course it's also been abandoned for quite some time so the distressing that i choose to apply is quite severe i particularly like the effect of rounding all of the edges of these little circular handles at the top that gives the feeling of a very authentic piece of furniture I really really like it although you could of course construct a piece like this using balsa or basswood I really am growing to love the process of using lightweight hardened chipboard for a variety of reasons but one of the most important to me is the fact that the finished pieces have the weight and feel of a tightly grained hardwood in addition to that, although this piece is quite simple, being able to use the Cricut Maker to cut really intricate designs out of the lightweight chipboard and then transform them into a wood-like substance opens up limitless creative possibilities. Adding lots and lots of distressing in order to also provide it with a real sense of history is incredibly satisfying although it is time consuming i spent much more time sanding and gouging and distressing the surface than i actually did constructing the piece but in the long run i'd say that the outcome was worth it for me i added a hint of dark wash in the form of thinned acrylic paints and added super glue whenever necessary after having sanded away the surface. I hope that you found this to be an enjoyable project. I found it to be extremely satisfying. And of course, it's a wonderful addition to the abandoned boudoir diorama and to our fancy gothic bed. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Until next time, bye.